Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make these delicious beef tamales. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by rinsing off our corn husks. When you finish rinsing and cleaning your corn husks, place them in a bowl and then soak them in warm water. Let them soak for 2-4 to four hours or overnight. Next, cut 4 pounds of boneless chuck roast into chunks. When you're finished, place your meat into an instant pot or a crock pot. Now add one small onion, two dried bay leaves, one tablespoon of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of beef bouillon, and two cups of water. Now just press the meat and stew button on your Instant Pot and let your meat cook. However, if you're using a crock pot, then let it cook on high for 6-7 to seven hours. Once everything has finished cooking, remove your onion and set it to the side. Then disregard of your bay leaves and take out your meat. Next, we're going to chop up our beef. When you finish chopping up your beef, set it to the side. Next, take the beef broth that's in your Instant Pot or Crock Pot and strain it. Then skim the fat from your beef broth with a spoon or a ladle. This part's optional, but I strained my beef broth one more time just to make sure I got everything. You should have four cups of beef broth. Now place eight wahio chilies, two pasilla chilies, and two ancho chilies on a cutting board. Then remove the seeds and the stems from your chilies. When you've finished removing the stem and the seeds from your chilies, rinse them off. After that, place them in a pot of water. Then bring the pot of water to a boil. Take it off the heat and then let your chili stew for about 30 minutes or longer. After you've finished stewing your chilies, place them inside a blender. Then add the onion from earlier, 
two tomatillos, the juice from one lime, the juice from half an orange, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of Mexican oregano, two teaspoons of minced garlic, and one and two thirds cup of your beef broth. Then blend everything until smooth. Once you've finished blending everything together, pour it through a strainer. When you finish straining your sauce, pour it into a pan over medium heat. Then add one and a half teaspoons of salt. Bring your sauce to a simmer and let it cook for about one minute. Once your sauce has cooked, add your beef. Mix the sauce into the beef and let that cook for about two to three minutes. When you finish cooking your beef filling, set it to the side. Next, in the large bowl, add four cups of instant corn flour. Then add two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and one half teaspoons of salt, then whisk everything together. Once you've whisked everything together, add one and one fourth cup of shortening. Now, using your hands, mix everything together until well combined. Once everything is well combined, add a fourth a cup of your red sauce and two cups of your beef broth. Now mix everything together until well combined. Once you've mixed everything together pretty well, add one cup of warm water. Mix everything together until your masa is the texture of loose Play-Doh. Now that your beef filling, masa, and corn husks are ready, we can assemble our tamales. We're gonna begin by taking a corn husk and laying the rough side down. We'll be adding our filling on the smooth side of the corn husk. Add your masa and spread it out into a nice, moderately thin, even layer. Make sure you don't add masa to every inch of your corn husks. Leave some room on the sides and the bottom. Then add your beef filling in the center of your masa. Close your corn husks, making sure both sides of your dough are touching, and then close it completely.
Once you've closed it, fold the bottom in and then you're finished. Set it to the side. Repeat this process until you run out of beef filling and masa. This was my first time making tamales, so it took me a while to get the hang of assembling them. I also probably should have added more water to my masa looking back now. So if your masa starts to dry out or it isn't as smooth as you'd want it to be, add a bit more warm water. Also, I was using a rice paddle to smooth out my masa onto the corn husk because it was way easier than using a spoon. Oh, and by the way, this recipe makes a lot of tamales. I think I made like 20. I could have made more, but I was tired and I wanted to stop and no one was going to eat more than 20 tamales. Once you have finished assembling your tamales, set them to the side. In a steamer, add a bowl or anything to keep your tamales standing up. Once you have placed your tamales in the steamer, add corn husks on top. Enough to cover all of them. The reason my camera is foggy is because I didn't remember to do this before I brought the water in the pot to a boil. The camera's blurry because the steam from the pot was getting on the camera, so it'll clear up in a second. Once you have covered your tamales in the corn husk, place a damp towel over the corn husk and then place a lid on top. Let your tamales steam for an hour to an hour and a half. Make sure to add water to your steamer pot throughout this time because your water will evaporate. When your tamales have finished cooking, remove the towel and the corn husks and take your tamales out. I ended up placing my tamales on a baking sheet, but you can always place them on a wire rack to cool. You're going to want to let your tamales cool so they can firm up a bit. You'll know your tamales are ready when you can unwrap it from the corn husk and it comes out clean. Unfortunately, I have no footage of me unwrapping the tamales because when I was testing to see if they were done, I ended up eating the test tamale and totally forgot. I was so busy eating, I forgot to film me unwrapping it. Once your tamales have cooled, you can go ahead and enjoy. And this is the finished result. Like I said before, this was my first time making tamales and I was so nervous. Fortunately, everything came out really well. The tamales came out great. I ate like three of them and then I saved the rest for the next day. You can basically serve tamales with the same toppings you serve on tacos. I added some sour cream and tapatio to mine. Adding sour cream and tapatio to it makes it taste delicious. You can also add like guacamole or salsa. The recipes I used to make this were from Simply Mama Cooks and Binging with Babish. I'll link their videos down below. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!